say this one we have to differentiate sec x from the definition so let fx is equal to say x then therefore x plus a is that we need so i consider this one i calculate this one also sec x plus a now from the definition we can write d dx of fx that is equal to limit a tends to 0 fx plus a is minus fx divided by a so this is a uh, limit a tends to 0 fx plus is means this say x plus is minus fx means sec x divided by a is now do this sec means 1 by cos sec means 1 by cos then do lcm see here i have done sec to cos and i have taken lcm so cos x minus cos x plus x now we will apply cos c minus cos d formula now see here cos c minus cos d that is 2 sin c plus d by 2 that is this plus this by 2 that is 2x plus a is by 2 that is x plus a is by 2 in the sign d minus c by 2 that is x plus a is minus x x is cut a is by 2 now see this 2 i am not writing here i am writing here it is going down i am writing here and it was as it is lcm was as it is now this one i am doing separate all this i am doing separately here we can put the value of x let me do that then you can understand See here, I have uh, separated it into two functions. All these one function and this one as another function, this one. Because this one is formula, limit x tends to 0 sin x by, limit x tends to 0 sin x by x. If you consider this one as x, then it will be 1. And here, directly put the value. Here, a is equal to 0, that is sin x left. And here, a is 0, so cos x left. And here another cos x left. Nothing is there means we can write 1 and here also value is 1. Now 1 by cos means sec x and sin x by cos x is tan x. Tan x. So what do you have got? ddx of fx. Therefore ddx of this fx means sec x. That is equal to sec x tan x so this is the uh, answer and this is the formula also this is the formula proof that's all